In Gmail, we're gonna go and compose a new email by clicking the button in the top left of the screen. Mail Merge basically allows you to send the same email to multiple different people, and it will look like they received it individually, and you can even personalize it. And you can send up to the Gmail send limits, which is about 1,500 emails a day. To make this easier to see, I'm gonna expand the Compose window here. One thing to note is that you're gonna need access to Google Workspace. If you don't already have a Google Workspace account, you can use the link in the description to get yourself set up, either as an individual or a business. And all I have to do to use Mail Merge is to click on this little icon on the top right. It says Use Mail Merge. I check the box, and then I've got a couple of options. I can either type in individual email addresses, like so, and each of those people will receive this email that I'm going to create individually. Or if you've got lots, you might already have their information in a spreadsheet. So you're gonna click on the icon and then choose add from a spreadsheet. Now I've got a spreadsheet here with a list of employees from the company. I click insert and it asks me to select the columns that have the different information in. So I click here to choose the email address column, same for first name and last name. And you see it shows me a preview of how their names would appear. Click finish. And then I just write this email like normal. So I give it a subject line. I'm going to put project alpha updates. And then I can enter some text in the email here. So I might put hi, and if I type the at symbol, that's where I can use mail merge tags. I can merge anything from that spreadsheet that I just chose. I'm just gonna put first name, do a comma, and then I could start writing the email. But I'm actually gonna use this with another Gmail feature that you might not have seen called layouts. So at the bottom of the screen here, I've got a button that says select a layout. I click on here, and there's a few preset layouts I could make use of. Or if you go to my layouts at the top here, you can actually create your own. So this is just a way to make a more professional looking email rather than just having the plain text like normal. Now I've created a layout here called Project Alpha Updates. I'm going to click Edit Layout at the bottom here and you can see I've got put my logo in and the header. I've got another bit here with a title and there's some spaces for updates here. We're not going to go here into detail but there's the editor on the right and you can change the themes and colors as well and you would edit all of your text in this layout right here just like I've done where I've put hi at first name, check out this week's project update below. With the merge tags in layouts, you need to actually click the button on the toolbar here that says mail merge and then choose the tag that you want to use like this. When you're done, you click insert, press OK. It's going to overwrite anything that's already in my email like this. And there we go, I've got this beautiful email ready to send. Once you're ready, click continue. Google's reminding you not to be a spammer. This is really not for sending tens of thousands of emails. It's not an alternative to MailChimp or anything like that, but it is perfect for sending to a small mailing list of customers you might have, or internally at your company or small business. Press got it on the reminder, and it's telling me that there are 50 emails that are gonna be sent. That's how many people I had in my spreadsheet. And if I want to, I can send a preview first. So let's do that. Gonna minimize this window here. And to see the preview, you might need to go to more on your mail on the left here and click all mail. And here's that preview email that got sent. It's showing me what it's gonna look like. That all looks good to me. So let's go back to your draft here, click continue. And this time we're gonna click send all. Let's take a quick look at what this looks like for someone receiving that email. So this is Tanya's inbox. I can see the email at the top of the inbox here. I click on it and read it. And to Tanya, it just looks like this was only sent to her, right? It's got her name on it here. She's the only person that it was sent to in the details here as well. And for you as the sender, if you go into your sent items in Gmail, you'll see all of the different copies of that email that got sent to those individuals. Don't forget, if you want a quick tip every week, you can sign up to Workspace Boost, my free newsletter at the link in the description.